We're talking with James Simpson, the author of Manufacturer's Crisis. He is also the man who first explained the Cloward Piven strategy to Glenn Beck that Glenn then took. And now people understand there, there's a real strategy uh, and we were just describing it. Can you get into some of the details? How does it operate? The idea is, and, and like I say, this, this idea is not new. Lenin outlined it uh, back in the 1920s. But the idea is to create crisis after crisis that um, overwhelms the society with problems, especially overwhelming the government with problems that the government uh, can't solve, doesn't have the money to solve, and ultimately collapses. And in the ashes, they hope to impose uh, communism. And so what, but what they started with was the welfare system uh, Johnson had just uh, passed uh, legislation for the Great Society, radically expanding welfare. And Cloward and Pippa thought, hmm, well, if we can get every single person on to welfare, getting every single benefit to which they are entitled, the government can't afford it and the government will collapse. And when it does, we will suggest a solution and their solution was a guaranteed annual income for all Americans, which in today's dollars would have translated to be equal to between forty and eighty thousand dollars per year for a family of four. Now think about that: giving every family of four, whether they work or not, uh, basically uh, median income. Uh, who would work? Yeah. Who would work? And, and, and they also said this would be a replacement because obviously the Great Society had overwhelmed the government, but they're not going to uh, uh, discontinue those other programs, those other programs. So it, the whole idea of a guaranteed annual income was to put further burdens on the government uh, because obviously that was going to be more expensive than all the welfare programs combined. Now, when and you so, add to that, you add the yeah. whole notion of open border. I mean, Milton Friedman said it well. He said, you can have a welfare state or you can have open borders. You can't have both without yeah. going bankrupt. That just accelerates the whole bankruptcy notion. Yeah, well, that was, yeah, th that's another part of the cloward Piven strategy. They also attacked voting. They also attacked our financial system, the um, subprime mortgage crisis was a deliberately created crisis strategy. And ACORN, the Association for Community Organizations of Reform Now, uh, was founded by Cloward and Piven in the 1970s. And they carried on the Cloward Piven strategy uh, you know, ever since. Are we seeing and, that right now? Uh, we we have this whole promises by Democrat politicians, for yes. example, where Harris has said, you know, you'll get fifty thousand dollars or twenty five thousand dollars for first time home buyers. We'll yes. give black men uh, forgivable loans so they can start pot shops yeah. and things like that. This is all Clara Pivot, isn't it? Wash, rinse, repeat. Wash, rinse, repeat. Yes, it's the same thing over and over again. And, you know, uh, uh, part of it, you know, the Green New Deal that, or the Green Job or the Green Program that Obama started with $80 billion. I hear the sirens going off. This is the yeah, problem we're facing. They're coming after me. He created an $80 billion Green Energy Program, which was an absolute failure. So what did the Biden administration do? They put in, in their laughably called Inflation Reduction Act, a green program with 230 billion dollars it's hitting every aspect of society the investment world with stakeholder capitalism weaponizing the poor through black lives matter making yes. taxpayers a minority uh, the dei the great reset all these are in your terrific book